Today, Apple announced its new tools for learning at the Guggenheim Museum in New York City. century in which we've got to solve the great problems and make the great discoveries concerning life on this planet. I'm going to ask you to enter the world of the biologist. This, in my opinion, is an authentically revolutionary advance in science and technology education. One of those being iBooks 2, an update to the original iBooks... <laughs> And yes, it's still free. Apple is aiming to, quote, reinvent the textbook with iBooks 2. Within this new application on your iPad, you can wave through beautifully designed pages with 3D animated models of your subject, access videos, and definitions while staying on the same page. You can pinch to bring up larger, more in-depth looks at your subject with interactive diagrams and videos to help you further your knowledge. Find me a printed textbook that can do the same. To keep you from multitasking within the app, random pop quizzes can appear as well as the ability to add sticky notes to pages and turn them into 3x5 inch flashcards. There are a few titles available now for free from some of the largest textbook makers, but more extravagant and full length textbooks will be available for $14.99. Not that bad of a price. All living things reproduce, and cells reproduce as well. One downside of these books is that they can run upwards of 3 gigabytes per textbook, which may lean you towards buying a higher storage iPad. The price point for these new textbooks seems great, as some of us in college pay upwards of $200 for certain textbooks, although this update was mainly geared toward high school students. have to do is hide games inside those textbooks so I can get my Angry Birds on while learning. <music> iBooks 2 is available for free in the App Store now. For more Apple coverage and reviews, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like as it helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. A peace. <laughs>